Happening today, a group takes their fight to Congress, trying to end the disparity between crack and powder cocaine prison sentences. FAM President Kevin Ring joins, will join others, that is, at the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. at noon. And FAM is a national criminal justice reform organization. Kevin, joining us now live from the nation's capital this morning with more. Kevin, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you for having me. Thousands of calls and emails have gone to Congress urging lawmakers to pass the Equal Act. What, what's the hang-up? Uh, politics. You know, it sometimes seems as if our government's broken. But this shouldn't happen here because there's a lot of issues our country is divided on from gun violence to how to cure inflation, abortion, all these issues. Very complicated and there's no consensus. But when it comes to eliminating the disparity between crack and powder cocaine, something that should be a no-brainer, there is wide consensus. We right. had 361 votes in the House. We have civil rights groups joining law enforcement groups. Everyone's supporting it. We have a supermajority in the Senate, but we just can't get a vote. And so we're bringing people to Capitol Hill to say, give us a vote on this. You, you mentioned just a few seconds ago that this does have support, bipartisan support. Yes, we have 11 Republican co-sponsors in the Senate, even more who are committed to voting for it. So this is something that should be able to get done. And I what I worry about is, you know, I think people are resigned to the fact that our government just can't do its business anymore. Right. This is one, though, there's thousands of people who could be reunited with their loved ones if Congress would act. And so we don't want to let this moment pass. We've got 32 days left of session. And so we wanted to bring these families here, look these lawmakers in the eyes and say, you know, let our families come back together. Bring us back. And all you have to do is take this easy vote. And so we're, you know, we're hopeful. Again, remind us about the disparity between prison sentences for crack versus powder cocaine. Sure. So about 36 years ago, Congress created the disparity. It was during the height of the drug war when crack was the drug everyone was concerned about. And so they implemented a sentencing scheme that established mandatory minimums for using just five grams of crack cocaine would get you the same prison sentence, five-year prison sentence, as using 500 grams of powder cocaine. Wow. Now, Congress reduced that disparity in 2010, but they haven't done away with it. Right. And we know because of the way this law is used and prosecuted that this impacts the black community so much harsher than it does the white community. Right. And so, you know, at a time where we're trying to fix racial injustice in the criminal justice system, this is the most obvious target. We have a minute to go. What does the disparity mean for so many men and women and their families right now? Well, what it has meant over the past three decades is we have destroyed thousands, tens of thousands of black families. And when you do that and you take the breadwinner out of the home for decades longer than necessary, you create intergenerational poverty. You create families where they don't have a head of household. It's a cycle. And yeah, and it continues. And you know what? This is not soft on crime. No one is saying these people didn't commit a crime and deserve time. It's just the punishments are so out of whack that we need to fix it. And very quickly, what can we do to get involved? Uh, the best thing you could do today is text ACTION to 21333. Join our, you know, our rally on the Hill virtually by doing that. You text ACTION to 21333 and uh, join us. We need all the help we can get. Kevin Ring, the president of FAM, we appreciate the work you're doing and thank you for taking the time to talk about it this morning. Thank you for having me. For more information on the Equal Act, just head over to our website, fox59.com slash links. So we'll send it over to Jim right now.